Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Wednesday night. Welcome to the Scurramezzo High Intensity Tournament. This is your final week of round one competition. We're in Tokyo, Japan, and we're starting off with a 1v1 normal match. Get excited, folks. Let's get to ringside. I'm Gorilla Mezzo, and as always, I am joined by Tarsus. Tarsus, how are we doing tonight? Hola. Ah, chipper as ever. And here he comes, Jawsus. A shit member himself, fired in the great culling of the JFW, came along with Skirmetso and Tarsus as they started this tournament up. King Jawsus, as he likes to be referred to. We don't know what he's a king of. He's kind of a king of nothing. But you know what? He's got a 1v1 match tonight. And his opponent has already been announced. Coming over from JFW, it is Antsy. That's right, Antsy versus Jawsus, right here live in Tokyo, Japan. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's wild, isn't it, Tokyo, Japan? Shit's international, baby. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> and there he is striking a pose he is a very technically proficient wrestler he's a light heavyweight but he sure doesn't look like one he's got about a foot on everyone else but next out is Ansi who I believe is a plim plom pluser weight <laughs> yeah, he is a, a bit of a mitch mismatch in size here <laughs> but how does the skill and talent compare we're about to find out oh yeah Very punchable face. Yeah, absolutely. Ansi, best known for uh, for a local trophy he earned for getting kicked out of pubs on Saturday afternoons. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, we got a uh, we got another hooligan coming up later tonight. You don't want to miss that one. <laughs> oh, we'll uh, we'll let that one uh, spoil itself later, though. Right now, it's about this pure action in the ring. No gimmicks, no bells and whistles. It's just a 1v1 mano y mano between Jawsus and Antsy. Yeah. <laughs> I do like a normal one-on-one -on -one match. These, uh, you know, although I did destroy Jimmy Fantastic with that uh, electrical backstage attack. There's something to be said for uh, 1v1 matches, isn't there? There is indeed. You know, the fans don't always love them, but once you've had uh, once you've had a long run of non-1v1 matches, they feel all that much better when you get to them. And we're about to get one right now. This should be a good one, folks. See. <laughs> and here we go, starting us right off as I almost... Myself. There we go. I almost <laughs> hit my head on the table again. Had to get into standing form here for this one. No butts in the seats in the audience, even though everyone is sitting. Don't listen to your eyes. Listen to my voice. They are all standing and going crazy for Antsy versus Jawsus. <laughs> oh, are they booing, are they? They're kind of moderately cheering. You see, Japan has very reserved... Uh, very reserved crowds uh, in wrestling. They they they'll say a lot of names, but there's not as much wild screaming as you get in the states and in Europe. Fair enough. Oh, look at this though! <laughs> Dropping him right on that 20 feet of concrete. Beautiful wrestling maneuver there by Jawsus. Yeah, he's he's very technical, isn't he? Arguably the greatest in the JFW technical. Uh, yeah, and you know, Jaws Jaws did come <laughs> did come from an amateur wrestling background, uh, and it really shows with a, a lot of his speed and agility uh, on display. But the technical proficiency is what carries him through these matches. Yeah, I hear that he nearly won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. <laughs> well, I believe you're thinking of the man who trained him, Kurt Angle. <laughs> but there are a lot of similarities between these two. Kurt Angle and did win the... a did win a gold medal. <laughs> yeah. He just nearly won one. 
<laughs> and uh, Ansi here, though, let's not take away from him. He got really drunk one day and said, ah, you know what, I think I can wrestle. And then here he is in the ring himself. <laughs> yeah, winging over Wanga. Yeah, I remember that, actually. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> that was his debut, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair yeah. enough. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, look at this, though. Beautiful maneuver into that neck breaker. And there you go, Antsy trying to fire himself up, get back in this match after it's been mostly dominated by Jaws's. And here he goes, firing up and putting him down. Oh, he rolls him around for the kick to the head. That'll stagger <laughs> anyone, doesn't matter what size you are. And now antsy has got him in the corner. What's he gonna do to him? Oh, oh. oh, the rock bottom sort of into the middle turnbuckle. That might have put him out. Whoa. No, not even close, just the one count. Antsy, that nice, now he's targeting that location there, the drop kick to the back of the head. Makes sense. Yeah, one of the few times. <laughs> one of the few times, anything. Oh, and look at this, continuing it. Oh, no, he lawn darts him into the middle turnbuckle there. And yeah, oh, now hey, really targeting that head. Yeah, vicious attack to the head. Oh, but here's a German suplex or three. Oh, not just one. I believe it's going to be three. Jaws is hanging on <laughs> two. And here comes number three. <laughs> and that's one way to fight back into a match. <laughs> it is Tarsus. It's Tarsus and Gorilla Mezzo. How you doing tonight, Flicky? Oh, hola, Flicky. I'm sure you can recognize my voice that I am uh, Tarsus. <laughs> Indeed. See. Oh, <laughs> might be setting up for the Olympic Slam here. This will put this one over before it really got started. Oh. No countered <laughs> out. Antsy punching back, gets the counter in, sends him into the ropes. Whoa. Oh, slides between the legs. And oh, <laughs> wonderful Hurricane Rana there. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, but a nice counter by Jaws to maintain the edge. He's putting him up, snap suplex. And now, oh, he's going top rope. He does have a beautiful moonsaw. Will we see it tonight? Well, it looks like we're about to. Look oh, at he that nails perfection. it. Nails it. I oh, actually almost shorted it, but his legs did all the damage there. And Jaws is, oh, he might have winded himself impacting the mat. Really needs to go for the pinfall here. <laughs> but he doesn't. Continues the assault. Oh, can we get more Germans? No. Ansi on the counter. Oh, incredible. And Antsy trying to get something going, and oh, he might be getting a suplex Ooh. of his own in, and he does. Jaws is rolling outside of the ropes to regain himself. Oh, but that's a mistake. Look at the look in his eyes. Antsy coming right over to him to punch him in the face. Yeah. Hammered him. It is a touchy subject, isn't it, Moradam? Yeah, I don't know why I should have. Maybe I should make an extra rule for the sheds about, like, saying, you know. I don't think I want to know what's going on in there right now, but I don't spend any time in there. Yeah. Because y'all are fucking idiots. <laughs> oh, and that is Ansi's finisher. He sticks it. He's going for the pinfall. This is it. He's got him. Oh, Whoa. just a two count kick out. Didn't leave a lot of room for error there, but Jaws continues this match. <laughs> yeah, Ansi, really going for that. Smartest thing you've ever done. Shame that you finish as an arm submission. <laughs> oh, I thought that was your finisher that you just did. <laughs> oh, look at this, though. Whoa. Huge suplex. Hooks the leg there. And now Jaws is fighting back. Are we minutes away, seconds away from an Olympic slam? No, he sends him, dumps him out of the ring instead. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Glad you like your finisher, Ansi. <laughs> oh, dear. Oof. And now, oh, oh that headbutt. Quick headbutt, headbutt by Jaws. Is, yeah. And he's, oh, look at this. He's got that rope wrenched or, or their leg roped around, wrenched around the rope, 
fuck me. And now, oh, looking for maybe another moon salt. Oh Here my he God. is. <laughs> oh, man, oh, this is good. Good. Take notes, Le Red Mask. That is how you have a top rope a attack. Take notes, he's Kurt sticking. Angle. I, I think he's hit the. I think he's hit the moon salt more in this one yeah. match than Kurt Angle did in his entire career. <laughs> it's possible. And now he's looking for that Olympic Slam. He oh. got him up. He's got him down. That's it. And he's going right into the pinfall. Gotta be it. Oh, no, the rope break. break. He got his leg on the rope. That's why these one v one matches feel so special. Sometimes you don't see these matches extend all the time. But the rope break there saved Ansi, and this fight continues. Oh, he's bouncing him off the turnbuckle into that beautiful German suplex. Oh, but the dragon screw by Ansi to come back. And now Ansi stepping out of the ring for a second to regather himself. He knows he's got not much left in the tank here, and he's going to have to close it out real quick. With a, oh, he's, uh, he's seeing things. He missed by a mile on that punch into another German suplex. And now, oh, the ref, the ref saying he wants to check on Ansi. Ansi might be out from that Whoa. suplex. No, no, Jaws is just stepping right back in, <laughs> into that neck crank. Oh, I've never seen that before. That was pretty cool. Yeah, I think Ansi took one too many Germans there. That'll always do you in. Mm. When a oh, German grabs injured. you from behind, that's what happens, Jim. <laughs> And then he's suplexing him back in the ring for for one more time. This is it. I don't think Ansi knows where he is right now. Oh, <laughs> but he's, he finds, he digs deep and kicks out. What a match. Now, uh, ooh, locking in that submission, trying to just wrench all the air out of Ansi here. But Ansi knees his way out. Ooh, two knees to get up to a vertical base. Oh, but he's still, he's just punching and missing wildly, kicking and wildly, thrown out onto that concrete floor again. Yeah. And I think the ref should have stopped this match personally. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh no, but Ansi coming back. Unbelievable stuff. Back in the ring. Oh, maybe he just thinks his best way out of this is a count out and he might have it. Look at this. I don't know what he's beckoning uh, Jaws is up, but Jaws is, is answering. Looks like he's going to make it back in the ring. He does. Oh, Ansi, a little slow to react there. Oh, no. Oh, Ansi. Oh, no. And another DDT to that injured head. Oh, Ansi's got to be out. He's got to be out. What is this? Kicks out again. Wow, he's just moving slow. But he's got some base instincts keeping him in this match right now. And maybe, just maybe... Ansi can find a way. Oh. This is incredible. Oh, Ansi's look at this. I think he's going to, yeah, he's going to lawn dart him again yeah. right into that. Oh, oh busting him, busting him up. All those attacks to the head paying off. And now head trauma all oh. around. Both the pin. He's got him, Jim. Tarsus. Tarsus, that's my name. Oh, <laughs> two and a half kick out there. Ansi cannot believe it. He thought he had the match won. Jawsus is bloody. <sighs> But here comes Tarsus. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's no. missed him. Oh, he telegraphed it. I think he stutter stepped one too many times, but he still got the hit in, and Jawsus is gushing blood right now. Whew. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I think there's concussions all around in this one, but now he's going up top. A third moonsault lined up here. No way he hits this. <laughs> Perfection every time. Jaws is in for the pin. This has got to be it. That's easy. And sure enough, sure enough, Jaws is your winner. He will advance to round two. Well fought by Ansi. But tonight, the result goes to Jaws. Mercifully, what mercifully, it's over. The yeah, human. I don't the human moonsault machine wasn't he? <laughs> suplex. That was unbelievable. Absolutely. Wow. Unbelievable stuff there by Jawsus and Ansi. Jawsus just edging him out. But he paid the price himself, and you can see it on his face right there. He's going to have to go get himself into a concussion protocol before <laughs> his next match in a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. That's a lot of blood.
And next up, we have a shit exclusive, the no escape cage match. This is a two out of three falls cage match in which you cannot score any sort of victory by leaving the cage. All of the fighting happens in the ring. The cage you can use to your advantage. And here we go. Oh, that's a great that is that an is, option? Uh, it is if you make it an option. Mm. Uh, and we've got Volcayo, Volcajo. I'm going to call him Volcayo. I don't know where he's from. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, he's from the Virgin Islands. <laughs> Volcayo <laughs> showing up here. Uh, it's, such a, it's such a 10 year old joke, but it's so good. <laughs> I believe uh, I believe Volcayo is making his debut in all of uh, professional wrestling right now. He is, yeah. Just got, yeah, just got back from his uh, his tropical holiday, I guess. Showing up in the ring here, and he is strutting his stuff. Here is Volcayo. <laughs> and who's he gonna face? I'm being told it is the return of a former JFW wrestler who has gone on to repackage himself, rebrand himself, and try again. And well, let's see if it pays off, but who's it gonna be? <laughs> and here we go. His opponent for the night is, oh, look at that, it's the Dark Elf. I'm too noob for you. He is back. He is looking slightly better than he used to. <laughs> <laughs> and he's feeling it tonight. He is into his new look. He is trying to make something happen. But if he's going to do it, he's going to have to pin Volcayo <laughs> twice inside that steel cage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, you guys are both idiots. He looks so much better now. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, he looks he looks like the Dark Elf Blood Bowlers, doesn't he? So that's good. That was that was what I was told to do. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's a, like, oh mask, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a it's a it's a uh, Corsair mask. It's even alligator print, but doesn't really mm. show up well. Mm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he's looking very... <laughs> it's all from Cobra Kai. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, dude. He's covering up his uh, his uh, cleft lip. Yeah. Yeah, to the extent of wearing a mask, even. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Keith Flynn. He's got the Keith Flynn hand, hasn't he? Yeah. Is that the guy from uh, Prodigy? Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for someone to make that reference. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think he's good. At first, I thought he looked a bit shit, but then, <laughs> then he grew on me. <laughs> oh, oh my well, god! He might still be a bit shit. Volcayo just exploding him with that lariat, and all over him. No, the counter back though, kicking out of it. Whew. Volcayo, uh, known for again, kind of a similar situation to Antsy. He was just hanging out on the beach, sipping some sort of tropical drink, and he goes. Nah, you know what? I think I could probably wrestle. And he showed up, but uh, unlike Ants, he didn't really get himself into shape. He's looking a little soft in the ring there. <laughs> but uh, told he's a bit of a street brawler uh, versus the uh, slightly more technically precise uh, uh, Dark Elf uh, attack of, um, of I'm Too Noob for You. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Sends him, picks him up, sends him right into the cage, and there you go. That cage will be a part of this match in some capacity. Maybe that's it, though. <laughs> oh, Trish is a good, good shout. <laughs> Trish Stratus. Yeah, that was it. We're gonna give him Trish Stratus's move. No, no, we're gonna give, we're gonna give Dimmy G Trish Stratus's moves. I don't give a fuck what you give Dimmy G. He's <laughs> never coming into shit. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go counter after counter the dark elf is a bit quicker than his opponent and that's keeping him in this yeah Ooh. 
But Volkayo's just raw, like raw power here and brutishness is wearing down the smaller man and he's going for the first pinfall. Again, two out of three to win it. No, with the kick out. Well, the ref's on the outside, is he? Yeah. Oh, interesting. You can barely hear the count. But you'll hear you'll hear the bell ring if they get it. <laughs> oh, look at this! Whoa. Setting himself up. At, oh no, no, he's just showboating a little bit there, and just <laughs> wrenching that neck and that headlock, and thinking that might be enough. He goes for the pinfall. Nope, not even a two count. Oh. I've got no sound, so I've I've, I've got no idea when. <laughs> Yeah, you can barely you can barely tell either way. Okay. Oh, Volkaya puts him up and dropping him on those ropes. Maybe would have thought about uh, throwing him into the steel post behind the ropes personally. <laughs> but it seems to be doing the trick here. He's working over. No, countered out, and and Volkaya dropped from that counter. <laughs> <laughs> Telling him off. <laughs> yeah, noob, letting him know you can't pull that shit. Side Russian leg sweep. <laughs> and then he sends him into the corner and charges in. Oh, nice splash there. Oh, but just the raw power Ooh, once again. Oh, move. beautiful. Blue running uppercut there. Nicely done by Volcayo. But he gets his foot caught and he gets planted down. And now the half Boston crab. This oh, would be a fun way. We've seen this end matches before. Yeah, we've seen this end match before, but not today. Not getting him a pinfall or a submission. And Volcayo able to come back, grab him by the back of his head, and he's oh, going to work gonna him right back over into those ropes. Sure is. Oh, oh. oh God, oh, and he that's drops brutal. behind the ropes. That's going to just cheese grater your back there. <laughs> struggling to his feet and now Volcayo he's thinking about what he can do to him oh no countered out oh nicely done rolls over for the pinfall no the kick out at one again oh in the corner oh and he drops the drop kick to the lower back there that's gonna wear down the heavier opponent taking out his back takes out all of his strength and now Volcayo wrenching, working on uh, the inner hamstring there. Ooh. Oh, and look at this. Maybe a blockbuster. Yep. Boom. Got him. Ooh, got him. <laughs> oh, and uh, dropping that spiked elbow into the chest, the jumping uh, elbow drop there. Savage. Oh, and dropping another elbow, two elbows, <laughs> and a forearm into his back there. Painful looking stuff. Absolutely brutal. You're just watching this on your own PC, aren't you? I can end, this, yeah, end I am. the stream. Yeah. yeah, it shouldn't matter at this point. Whoa! What the Famous hell? Square. He, uh, <laughs> he did the butthole foul, Jim. The butthole <laughs> foul got him. And he goes for the pinfall. And he's got it. That's a three count. He is up one nothing. Well, I have to do some work to come back in this. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> the butthole foul. <laughs> and uh, this is just looking all day like. Uh, oh no! Oof. Huge maneuver. This might. That might be it. He might. He might just two zero him right now. No way. He did! I'm too noob to you for you, Dominant saying, this is my time. I'm making my comeback in here. Oh my god, I'm bleeding profusely. <laughs> That's not great. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I'm too noob for you with the victory. I just I banged my elbow and I already had a scab there. Now it's give me one second, folks. Whew. <laughs> Real life banged up. <laughs> yeah, he gets injured. He seems to get injured quite a lot from his death. <laughs> well, I, do you know what? I think I think Antonio Fio has grown on me a lot since then. 
I think it's a pretty good look, Jim. I just have to clean up that blood smell before my dogs come in and end my life. Oh, God. <laughs> they get the taste of blood, I'm doomed. <laughs> And there you go, I'm too noob for you, advancing to round two. He will be facing, I believe, k Fog in round two. Won't that be a matchup? Yeah. <laughs> the Dark Elf Court versus the Little Dark Elf. Yeah, oh my goodness, uh, levels I didn't even think of. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, he will not be facing, he will be facing Fat Fox instead. Uh... <laughs> but next up, falls count everywhere. I think this is going to be a JFW favorite showing up tonight. And there he <laughs> oh, is. There is no mercy in his dojo. <laughs> it is. Calcium Cas. Whoops. Okay, there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Calcium Kaz working his way. He has been uh, really on fire in the JFW right now, looking to try his hand uh, in shit. See how it goes. He is the kind of guy he can go from PS4 to PC like it's nothing. Let's see if he can do the same with these two very different wrestling federations that have nothing to do with each other in any way, shape, or form. Jim, <laughs> he's gonna try. He's gonna try his hand in shit. <laughs> 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 and here, a, welcome to shit, a shit loyalist, a new debut, what a guy, it is Discotti. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> what can you say about a guy like Discotti? We all missed out on the chance of Discotti. <laughs> Versus Volcayo in the second round, unfortunately. <laughs> nah, I decided I changed enough of him, humorous chimp, that I'd give him this because I wanted him to be happy. <laughs> well, Lemon is good. You, uh. <laughs> you, you tuned in to, uh, fellow Toon Army and, uh, Newcastle United diehard Descotti making his wrestling debut in shit. And he's got the brand. He is all in with shit. And he, look at that hip flexibility there. That is something. Oh, dear me. There you go. <laughs> That's disguise. Oh dear. And he's just basically a bowling ball with legs, folks. I think Calcium's <laughs> going to be bouncing off of him, but surely this is outside of Calcium's uh, normal opponent size, which is usually about one eighth the size <laughs> of his body and about a third of the age. <laughs> Tragically, not Naomi's moves, no. no. <laughs> It's not a bad idea, though. <laughs> but yeah, falls count anywhere. This one can end outside of the ring, out back anywhere that these two wrestlers choose to go. It's fine. We do know Calcium does have a streak of backstage brawler in him. He's no Scaramezzo, that's for sure. But he sure is pretty decent out there. So let's see if that plays into his advantage here. Right now, he's just getting worked over by Descotti. <laughs> I, I did too, Bezel, but uh, spoiler alert, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big axe kick. Oh yeah, I didn't think Magic could have done I, I thought about I thought about I, I thought about it to extend it, but I was kinda running short on time. I felt right. like Calcium wasn't gonna be watching live, the Scotty might be. I didn't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> They can't all be five-star matches, guys. <laughs> ah, Discotti, hey there, buddy. <laughs> all right, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I like I like the Mark Henry look, to be honest. I really like the uh, attire. No, uh, so what I can do, Bezel, is I can either take over. What, I, what I've been doing is I've been taking over as one guy, and then I have to put my keyboard as the other guy so that he doesn't just instantly kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> because once I get knocked down, I don't know how to stand back up. <laughs> 
nor kick out. So then I have to run to the. Then I would have to run to the place I want and hope the AI follows me. But it wouldn't look very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but calcium mounting a comeback here. I, yeah. I'm going to have to agree with Rick. Descotti, obviously the size advantage, but uh, calcium mounting a furious Ooh. comeback now. Oh, he's going for the pinfall in the ring. Just the one count. But uh, before now, it was all Descotti. Yeah. Oh. oh, that was a <laughs> terrible time to celebrate, calcium. <laughs> Oh my, Greg's, I think Greg's logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, running knee into the corner there, and now it looks like he's going to use that leverage and just drop him on his ass again. How about Mike Ashley's face is his actual face? <laughs> That'd be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I could try that. Oh dear. That would that would amuse me. I don't know about you, Disgusting. <laughs> Necromundo. Necromundo. <laughs> oh. All right, the head wrench calcium seems to have found his stride now, trying desperately to wear out the big man here, and it looks like it's working. No, no, he goes for the Arcleo. And instead just gets punched and sent into the ropes here. Oh, is he going to get dumped out? Uh, yep. Looks like he's going to. Yep, dumps him out. Oh, Descotti lining up something oh, big. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. He has flattened him. He's flattened him. That's it. That's Jesus gotta be Christ. it. Ref taking a long time. No, what calcium happened? out before the ref can even count. That was and crazy. the crowd chanting, this is awesome, and they are right. How did Calcium kick out? That was bizarre. I have no idea. <laughs> but he now oh, hung up on the barricade and the big oh. boot to the head. Calcium is uh, on uh, borrowed time right now. <laughs> oh, oh, dropped onto those 4,000-pound steel steps, Jim. <laughs> Tarsus, yep, that's my name. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? He was going for the low blow. Calcium oh. tried to end it with the low blow. He got countered, <laughs> and this is it. Oh, No, he so kicks close. out. Two and a half count kick out. He was going for the low blow to end this real fast, but he was... Oh, he, I think he tried it again there. No. Oh, now look at this, though. Exploder suplex. And now Calcium very fired up. Oh, he, he might he might think he's got him. The big man did take a big fall there. No, just a one count. <laughs> yep, Basil. I mean, at the end of the day, no one really cares about the morality of anything, do they? They just want to succeed. <laughs> and at the end of the day, if a rich guy got Newcastle, he'd, he'd, he'd buy some players and they wouldn't be shit anymore. <laughs> so... Oh, there's the kid, the uh, whatever you call it, the crane kick. Yep. The crane kick from Calcium might have stunned Descotti. Oh, he got him! He did. And there's the winner. He caught him. He caught him in the head with the crane kick, knocked him out, and he's got the win. Calcium Kaz is advancing. Descotti well fought, but fell a little short. But that big man's fly flight was one of the moments <laughs> of the entire tournament thus far. It really was. Yeah, he was Rob, wasn't he? That came out of nowhere. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. He <laughs> flattened him. Absolutely flattened him. That was cool. I thought for sure that was it, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And there the it is. Blow. The counter on the low blow. That was the Scotty's moment. I, I cannot believe Calcium came back to win this match. Yeah, unbelievable. He doesn't have a rear view. Humorous. <laughs> Not yet, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, now, well, no, he's a he's a sh he's a he's a shithead. So you can go fuck yourself. You ain't changing shit with him. <laughs> he's a shithead. <laughs> but there it is, calcium celebrating in the ring. Last or false count anywhere match. He has won it. And folks, that is going to take us to our main event. And you all know what that means. We have an extreme rules match. We know Demon Prince, Rick Reckless, 
claims he is going to turn shit into crap and he is going to take over and he's going to make everyone in shit his ch chaos chosen acolytes. But we don't know who he's facing. Here we go. Damon Prince Rick Reckless about to spend a long time getting to the ring. Oh boy. It's an awesome entrance, even if it takes a long time. <laughs> 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 oh boy. The literal demon prince. Absolutely. Demon Prince Rick Reckless, true to his word, he has come today. to infect the it's shit tournament. And I don't know who can stop him, frankly. Uh, I mean, his his wrestling record aside, he, uh, he has a way of corrupting souls, and uh, he's merciless about it. Yeah, I don't think there's a man who can beat him, to be honest. I'm gonna have to agree with you there, Tarsus. <laughs> wow, purple chef. <laughs> Telling him, see, as you can see, the infection already spreading. <laughs> tingling <laughs> Someday I do want to edit uh, Thaw's entrance so that halfway down the ramp he does the bezel walk. <laughs> That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Someday. Oh that would be amazing. Table. Marcel, yeah, Marcel's got his hands full this week, I think, Night Demon. <laughs> Big match, biggest match of his career. There he is, Demon Prince Rick Reckless in all his glory. Main events. Extreme Rules, the final match of the opening round of Skuramezzo's High Intensity Tournament. And folks, if you haven't caught all the other episodes, head over to JimmyFantastic.com or go to YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic. You'll find all your JFW and shit action there. But now it's time for some extra bestial action. That sounded wrong. <laughs> In the ring right now with Demon <laughs> Prince Rick Rackless. Shades of Kurt Angle, he's talking about bestiality sex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. oh, look at that. The smile, the button eyes. He's ready, but who's he going to face? One man can stand in front of that demon. Nobody can. <gasps> Wait a second. It's no man at all. It's... EAB extra arms, but he has finally resurfaced. Oh and he God. is here tonight to go after Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Could he be the savior of shit? It is time for the biggest hoss fight in wrestling history. Demon <laughs> Prince Rick Reckless, the like, heavyweight champion <laughs> versus extra arms bot in a battle for the ages. <laughs> oh God! This one has been waiting. His his father creator bezel corrupted. His soul destroyed by Demon Prince Rick Reckless. But EAB has not had his final final showing against the Chaos Chosen, and he's here tonight to cut the hat off the infection. Ah, unbelievable. What an absolute clash of the titans. <laughs> <laughs> I thought of that as Jim said it. I didn't even plan that. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. Demon Prince Rick Reckless. EAB. The oh no. Reckless colliding against the wall of body armor that is extra arms bot. And his power on full display right now. Is <laughs> he just pummeling the hell out of him, sending him right through all oh, the shoulder breaker into the turnbuckle there? This one is personal, folks. Oh. 
That's so weird, that move, isn't it, that Rick does? I don't really understand it. Yeah. But now Rick on top, working over the legs, trying to take away the size of extra arms, but... Oh, and now... Oh, oh. Spikes his elbow into his head there. Oh, jeez. And now working the lower, the midsection, the big stomp with that goat hoof. <laughs> And Rick Reckless just Ooh, taking yeah. it to EAB. <laughs> this is something, isn't it? Sure is. Oh, oh, inverted atomic drop. But EAB fighting out of the corner here. Missing on the grab. Oh, God, we could if, um... If, if it, be, it depends on how much work it is for Bezel, so probably too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's only been, you know, 16 matches thus <laughs> far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like setting it all up, isn't it, is the thing. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's almost assuredly not worth it. You yeah. can just ask me and I'll make up a number if you want. And then, and yeah. then, then yeah. that's what I'm saying. No <laughs> one will know. Oh, the running power slam by Rick Reckless. And that gives him a significant... Uh, energy advantage here in this match. EAB on, well, I want to say on the ropes, but really he's being driven through <laughs> the mat. And here's a pinfall, surely not. No, oh. EAB kicks out at one. God. He's making EAB not look massive, isn't he? Which is just crazy. Those horns giving him the edge in height, really. <laughs> How dare you, Deer Haunter? <laughs> How dare you imply that we would ever rig results in shit or the JFW. <laughs> we are the purest form of sports entertainment that you're going to find. Yep, uh, anywhere on the planet. Oh, look at it. Whoa! Oh, and knocked out of the ring, huge elbow, and that's exactly what EAB needed, and he knows it. He's stomping in the ring. He's feeling it, trying to regather himself. Now he's coming out after Demon Prince Rick Reckless. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, but a little slow. No, he's not. Oh. He goes, retreats back into the ring. You know, EAB, not known for uh, for being an extreme rules fighter, likes to get his business done with a couple elbows and kicks in the ring and call it a day. But it's been a while since we've seen that dominance, and it's hard to believe he'll easily ragdoll a guy like Demon Prince Rick Reckless. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh! <laughs> And he just flattens him there now. Oh, oh no, boy. going up. Might be looking for it. Nope. Comes back to his feet Ooh. and he just, oh geez. The, <laughs> the somersault off the top rope there just lays out EAB and Ooh. gets him a, oh, so just the two count. Yeah, the amount of force coming off that top rope, it's uh, believable. <laughs> and now he's going up top again. Could we be seeing that flip me? Flip me, guys. <laughs> and he hits it. Oh, no, it's over. This could be it, It's yeah. over. It's all over. Ref a little slow there. <laughs> Two count kick out again. Oh, dear me. And now he's just trying to rip his head off. Yeah, but he's tough, man, isn't he? The toughest JFW competitor yeah, of all time. absolutely. And he comes back in. Uh, EAB powering out here. Oh, no, but flattened once again. And now he rolls outside the ring to regather himself. Demon Prince Rick Reckless letting everyone in the audience know that they are his souls to harvest. But no, EAB back in the ring, trying desperately to save the shit universe. <laughs> From another week of Rick's corruption, but he cannot keep his footing. And now Rick in on him. No, he counters out of it. And he, oh, there it is, using his full speed and full bulk to drop Rick. This is his chance right here. And a vicious punch. And now he's got him up for the shin breaker, and he nails it. EAB coming back, folks. Yeah. Might be thinking a pinfall. This is a bit hopeful. Only a bit, though. You got a two count. Yeah, still a two count. Hard to kick out when your opponent weighs like 600 pounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And there it is again. Yeah, that happens, Frosty. Ooh. Oh, another uh, uh, inverted atomic drop, and EAB drops to the ground. On his knees, he's 
getting back up, but here comes Demon Prince Rick Reckless celebrating a bit too much, if you ask yeah. me. See. No, it didn't matter. And these clotheslines, he just EAB struggling to keep up with the chaos powered demon. Yeah, he's so fast, Rick Reckless. It's that like it, it is. Oh no, the crucifix power ball. Whoa! He's countered, he's countered out. <laughs> he's lost. countered out of it. He's countered out of it. <laughs> That was incredible. Oh, he just fucking Oh no, the kick out the again ring. though. EAB needs to drop that elbow and he needs to do it soon. <laughs> Pushes him. <laughs> and EAB just trying desperately to keep up. <laughs> and Rick again on top of him and just gonna unload on him now. Oh no, savage punches. <laughs> <laughs> and now the pinfall to end it. No, a two count kick out. EAB trying desperately to stay in this one. Rick going, going up. up oh again? no, Rick's going up again. No, it can't be. It can't be. No, it isn't. It's no, big. just a big splash. And oh, look at that. He collides in on him. And he's picking him up here, folks. And now he sends him into the ropes. Oh no, they collide evenly. But Rick getting that quick jab in. <laughs> Sends him into the corner. I don't know what you're talking about, Jim. <laughs> and this match continues. Uh, Rick Reckless on top. EAB back in the ring, though. Only to get punched again. Just dominant by Rick. Absolutely. Oh, targeted punch to the cortex. And he's just ripping into him right now. Oh, oh he's going to send him through trying to break his third arm. <laughs> oh, he might have done it. Baby's arm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Cheer five. Oh, he's really hurting, isn't he, EAB? Yeah, EAB, desperate. He's just trying to get to his feet. And Rick is drinking it in, loving it. But EAB punching back. <laughs> oh, and the big power or body slam there. Rick out of the ring, in right back into the ring, and EAB. Oh, he's got him. He's trying to rip his <laughs> horns off, trying to make him the man he used to be. Don't know if that's the way to do it, but he can't get him, and he slams him down. But EAB is furious right now. He's looking to end this before it before it can get worse for him. Incredible Just stuff. stomping the shit out of him. On here we go. <laughs> We see that a lot. He usually sets up. No, Rick out of the ring again. Very smart move by Rick. EAB yeah. should not be celebrating that comeback. <laughs> and Rick, and that is why Rick's so fast. He really is. That, that demon. Demon energy. Big demon Absolutely. energy. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, but look at this. The underhook suplex. Ooh. EAB. EAB could do it. He might have him. Nice. He might have him. No, just a one count kick out. Rick Reckless, not to be denied. Both these guys would love to move on to the next round. Their opponent waiting in the wings, and it is Geeks Wargaming. <laughs> I'm sure he's thrilled about this. That's going to be a massacre. <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> You Whoa. gotta believe whoever comes away with the win tonight. Oh no! Oh, oh wow. no, Jim! Or Tarsus! Oh no! <laughs> oh, 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 he missed! Oh, he missed! Last second EAV using what little speed he has to dodge <laughs> out of the way there. <laughs> oh. He does that on his own. <laughs> and here we go, he elbows out. And then, oh, hanging neck breaker here. Rick's got him. Rick going up top rope again. Oh, my God. He's making him stand up. He's going to go for a modified flip me. <laughs> I think so. Yep. Oh, cannonballs into the, almost into the camera. And he's going up again. Oh, no. He's going to try and end it right here, right now. Flip me, guys. He does another flip me. He lands it. He sticks the landing. It's over. It's, it's over. Be. Oh, oh the two count kick out again by EAB. Unbelievable. And the chin breaker, he's just so desperate, but no, countered by Rick. Rick runs right into him. Huge collision in that ring. 
This is nuts, isn't it? What an Absolute absolute war. Trying to twist his head off again. What a battle. You don't see these big guys go this long, usually. You don't. Yeah. They usually finish, finish pretty quick. <laughs> half grub, that's what he needs to apply. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> and here we go. Rick sent into the corner. EAB tries to punch him. No, gets muscled into the corner himself. And now, Rick, look at this. <laughs> oh. oh, that knee to the back. Huge knee to the back. And Rick Reckless, Demon Prince Rick Reckless locking in the headlock. has got to wonder, what does he have to do to finish this? He's done everything he can think of to extra arms bot, and it hasn't been quite enough. Yeah. And he hasn't Still survived hasn't. an elbow yet, has he? You know, if, yeah, if, in, if he yeah. beat, nails that elbow, will it be enough to beat Rick? Yeah, absolutely. And likewise, that crucifix power bomb got countered earlier. EAB has not taken one of those. I think the first person to get that move off is going to be your winner tonight. Yeah. See? <laughs> Oof. And a two count kick out, the exhaustion now setting in for Boldman EAB, looking a bit frustrated there. <laughs> oh, he just stepped on him, just busted him open, stepped on him and busted him open. Oh, man. And now he's got him up and surely, no, countered! Oh, countered, oh huge. no, the bloody Sunday! <laughs> that huge DDT, Rick once again, just letting everyone know he's not going anywhere. <laughs> he loves the dancing, doesn't he? And now the pinfall, this might be it. It might just be too much for EAB. Oh. No, two count kick out again. Outrageous, what's he got to do? I don't know, I don't know. I think it's that crucifix power bomb. When we see that, this one's over. If we see that, because here comes EAB. Dropping him, oh my <laughs> God, he threw him out of the ring. EAB means business. Now I thought he was just gonna hang him up on the ropes like we've seen a million times. Yeah. Yeah, and EA good. trying to lock in that bear hug on him. No, Rick. Rick a bit too wide for that. Able to punch his way out of it. And EAB, now they're going to trade blows on the outside. Both these exhausted fighters just tearing at each other as best they can. <laughs> oh, that's the disrespect on the slap. And Rick is back in the mat, in the ring. Oh, that's a straight but right EAB though. Is tearing in Rick Reckless right now. And they collide, no one losing their footing. Oh, oh. but those punches put Rick down. <laughs> those mouth did the best. <laughs> this, is, this is insane, isn't it? Oh my it God. Sure is. Oh, Rick, just a desperation haul there to get back on top. <laughs> and he's just gonna punch into him again. Oh no, oh, oh no, here it is. He Oh, it's over. He's got him. It's over. Oh, EAB. Oh, no. He's got him up. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it. Oh, his head hit the rope. Dragged in the middle of the ring. This and is folks, be it. Yet Rick Reckless. Demon Prince. No, the kick out. Are you kidding me? I don't believe it. I got to see that. I got to see that crucifix power bomb again. Can we line that up? Production truck. Where are you? Come on. That was something. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What do we got here? Rick looking to go Whoa. top rope. Oh, I didn't see Yeah, there it is. There's that crucifix powerbomb one more time. Oh, EAB <laughs> struggled to his feet now. A punch here. Oh, he's trying everything in his power here. He's got nothing left. It's like he can barely stand or walk straight. Just <laughs> unloading punches. Doesn't know what he's doing, folks. <laughs> trying everything in his power. Oh, he's got him in the corner, though. He's got him in the corner. Oh, he's bringing him up. Oh, big oh, super no. flex coming here. He's looking to end it with a plum, folks. Huge super flex <laughs> coming oh, from the Even Prince Rick Reckless. Oh, oh, my God. They broke in the ring. They broke in the ring. What can we do? The match can't continue. I don't know what I just saw. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> We're going to have to. We're going to. <laughs> we're gonna have to get we're gonna have to get a ruling on this I don't know the ref is down too this match cannot continue folks oh my god what a match EAB struggling to his feet and the executive ruling is in and it's a it's a draw the, 
the upper management calling this a draw. Folks, that is going to be it for shit tonight. What does this mean? We've got two winners. We've got two losers. No idea how that one's going to play out. You're going to have to wait until at least next week, Wednesday, 8 p.m., right here on Twitch for the next shit. Thank you, everyone. My name's Gorilla Mezzo. And thank you so much, Tarsus, for helping put this tournament together. I will see you on Friday night for Friday Stand Firm. We've got a big JFW pay-per-view at 8 p.m. UTC this Sunday. But all of that is meaningless. What we want to know are some answers from the completion of the first round of the Skirmetso High Intensity Tournament. And you won't be able to find out any of that until next Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC. Thank you so much, as always. Tarsus. Uh, yes, thank you very much, Gorilla Metso. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to uh, leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.